know that next year will be Who is Santiago Arias? Manchester United target has bags packed, ready to sell free transfer. The summer transfer window has closed, but Manchester United are reportedly still in the market for reinforcement, with Santiago Arias link with the move to Old Trafford. United entered an event full for summer of the Everton Hug era, with club eventually passing the cast to bring in Casemiro and Anthony to bolster their new manager squad. They also added Christian Eriksen, Tyrell Malaysia, and Lisano Martinez to replace some of the players who left when their contract expired. After a terrible start to the campaigns, things have sound sign of clicking with four strike Premier wins properly United up to five in the table. However, it seems United are not entirely content with their work over the summer, with addition still being considered. Arias is available as a free agent after seeing his contract terminated by Atletico Madrid. So could be signed without a transfer fee. But who is he? And why might United be interested in acquiring his service? Here, Mirror Football gives you the lowdown to the defender. Arias is a 30 year old sole right back, although he has earned 54 caps for Colombia. He has plied his thread in Europe since 2011. Playing for Sport in Lisbon, he has been helping Atletico Madrid by Leverkusen in Granada. He played three times for Colombia at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, and his tournament experience came during the most settled time in club football during his career. Arias, who was born in Madeleine, played 172 times for he has been between 2013 and 2018, contributing 10 goals and 21 assists during that period. He has been won three RFC titles, success with his game under the management of Philip Coutu. Aris moved to Atletico Madrid in July 2018 for around 11 million pounds. He struggled to hit the same heights in Spain. He made 51 presses for the club, but struggled with injuries, including a fractured fibula, and was slotted out twice to Leverkusen in Granada after slipping behind Kieran Trippier and Srif Salsu in Diego Simeon's packing order. He was really as this summer and it's still without a club. Averto were interested in signing Arias a few years ago due to the link with the Merseyside club's former sporting director Marcel Brands, who knew the Colombian from his time at PSP. Brands certainly writes the right back. He's the perfect model of the modern defender, passive, powerful, and attack minded. There are not many players with such qualities, he said in 2015 when Arias signed a new PSP contract. That description has been backed up by Leverkusen manager Peter Bowles, who signed him on loan from Atletico in 2020. I already knew Santiago Arias as an opening in the Netherlands, where he played for one of the top teams and was used quite offensively. But say, at Atletico, he played a more defensive role. This combination makes him a very complete player who will help us. Then how is seemingly not keen on our Wamisaka, who has lost his place to Diego Dalet at right back in the early stages of the season. That stance was evident on Thursday when Dalet kept his place in a heavily rotated side for the visit of Real Society. Wamisaka remained on the bench even when youngsters were being given game time in the closing stage, then had preferred to use Victor Lindelof as the right back. After bringing on Lisandro Martinez, United have allowed Ethan Laird to leave online for QPR and Brandon Williams remains at the club, but has but was excluded from the squad for the Europe League due to ongoing injury problems.
That is where our school come in. We find that he's over his injury problems, which included a hamstring problem at Grand Session. Then he is an experienced player who could provide valuable backup in what is perceived as a way position. Reporting speed say that Ares already has his bags ready to move to United. That is hardly surprising given his current situation. What could stand in his five years is the fact that United had previously been interested in Ares. As Mirror Football reported back in March 2014, United were looking at him and Simos Coleman as an alternative to Rafael da Silva. This time around, he will arrive as a high-profile signing, but could slip in the back door as unglamorous cover.